everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and I make learning easy and accessible for students. Today we are still going to be talking about the base on basic terms in pharmacology. In our previous class we gave eight basic terms in pharmacology and their various definitions. Today we are still going to be giving you eight basic terms in pharmacology and their definition. If you know you are new on this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out in any of our video. Let's go over there. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be talking about some basic terms in pharmacology. For those that have not watched our first video on the basic terms of pharmacology, kindly do so. So the first one we have today is idiosyncrasy. What is idiosyncrasy? It is an exaggerated response to drugs. It's simply an adverse effect to a substance such as drugs which on the normal base most patients they don't um, they don't show that effect they don't react to it but you see this individual having idiosyncratic um, reaction to a drugs you know most times when we get drugs the side effects of the drugs are usually written on the drugs because most people that are taking these drugs have these signs and symptoms attached to it but in idiosyncrasy those signs and symptoms that are not even there before this individual that takes this drug starts manifesting that signs and symptoms that is what we mean by what idiosyncrasy is simply an adverse reaction to a drug that most patients do not normally have the, those effects then the other one is high half half life as the name imply half life half life is the time required to metabolize half of the original dose of the drugs is the time required to what for your body to metabolize half of the dose if you took 400 the time required for the body to metabolize 200 milligram is known as what half life of a drug half life of a drug is what is the time required to metabolize half of the original dose of the drug. Then the other thing we have here is the loading dose. What do we mean when we say load? As the name implies loading, you are putting it rapidly, that's fast fast, you are putting it quickly for it to carry out effect. So loading dose is an amount of drugs that must be administered to bring plasma concentration to the therapeutic range rapidly when initiating therapy or when increasing dose after sub therapeutic dose what i want you to note is that it's an amount of drugs that must be administered to bring plasma concentration into the therapeutic range for example somebody um let's say the fluid level is low and they said give that person a loading dose of 400 you instantly give rush it rush that glucose 50 percent dextrose so the person's glucose level will come up immediately so say you give the loading dose i don't know if you've been in the hospital setting like that. they say give a loading dose of them um 50 percent dextrose saline you see then they rush it it's nothing like eight drops per minute so you rush it rapidly so that the person's plasma can go back to its um normal state okay so that's what loading dose is all about take note loading dose is the amount of drugs that must be administered to bring plasma concentration into the therapeutic range that into the normal range the therapy range rapidly that's quickly when initiating therapy or when increasing the dose rate after sub therapeutic dose that takes us to the other one which is methanol's dose remember we said um, loading dose is what you give rapidly quickly to help bring um, the plasma concentration to its therapeutic level but in loading methanol's dose is the one that helps you maintain that therapeutic level you've loaded already so you not give um, a drug or an infusion that helps you maintain that um, level so methanol's dose this is the amount of drugs that must be regularly administered to maintain a steady state concentration. You have to regularly administer it. Maybe after that 50% dextrose, they might tell you, oh, give 5% dextrose, 8 drops per minute, this drops per minute. You are maintaining, that will help you maintain that therapeutic dose. 
Why loading dose is the one you give quickly to enable the plasma concentration to come back to its normal. Why maintenance dose is the one that will help you stay, maintain that same position so it doesn't go down or decrease further. Do you get? Then the other one, the other term I have is non-compliance. As the name implies, non-compliance, it simply means patients are not following to the prescribed medication. They are not following what the doctor gave them. They are not taking their drugs. That's what non-compliance is. Whenever you hear a nurse or a physician or a doctor saying, ah, this patient is non-compliant to drugs, it simply means this patient is not following up with the prescription. It's not taking the prescribed um, dosage. That is why we say, Non-compliance is what? Client's failure to follow prescribed medication therapy. It is what? Client's failure to follow prescribed medication therapy. Then the other one we have is placebo. I usually like this word a lot. Why? Because um, let me give in general what placebo is all about. For example, they tell me once I lick this marker, my malaria will go. Mm? I'm just giving a general saying, I'm not saying that. Once I lick this marker, my malaria will go. Because of that belief, that strong belief I have in this marker, when I take it, the malaria will really go. I don't know if you get it. So that's more like placebo effect, though. That's placebo effect. So people take things that are not really therapeutic, but because of their belief in it, it works perfectly for them. Do we get it? So um, placebo, if, placebo generally is a substance which has no pharmacological action are you seeing it it has no what it has no pharmacological action but produces therapeutic effect for example they will tell you distilled water reduces pain it has no pharmacological action but it tends to reduce pain so when i hear place boom it's simply a substance which has no pharmacological action but it was but it produces therapeutic effect then the other one is now therapeutic effect. What is this therapeutic effect? So therapeutic effect, a drug is a drug desired effect. That's when you give this drug, the action, the effect of that drugs in, in curing malaria, in reducing pain, is known as the therapeutic effect. Then the last one I have here is the side effect. Remember we talked about idiosyncrasy, which is an adverse effect. Side effect is expected. For example, when they give diclofenac in a hospital, they know that the side effect of diclo is actually um, per, uh, also generally. So you see them administer diclo alongside with omeprazole because they know this is the side effect from NSAID. And to advance that side effect, they give um, omeprazole, which is, an, um, which is an also drug. So whenever you hear side effect, this is a known response to drug, to drug level. Since they are predicted, you are predicting it. Since they are predicted, they can be treated accordingly. Since they are predicted, they can be treated accordingly. Thank you very much for watching our video. Thank you very much for staying tuned. I hope this video helps you to understand these basic medical themes. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to drop your questions and comments in the comment section. Don't forget to watch and share with a friend if you got value. See you in our next video. Bye.